Liebe Damen und Herren, willkommen zurück zu der Nachtschicht. Ihr arbeitet spät, wir ebenso. Zeit sich einzustempeln. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> Basically, what he means by that is welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so we just time to clock in. As you probably could have assumed by that David intro, we are in Germany right now. In an Alster. The in an Alster, it's like a river with like a giant shooting uh, fountain in the middle of it. David told me that these parks are used primarily for dealing drugs and hanging out with your girlfriend. What do you think that guy's doing right there? <laughs> I like that. So we have to go wake up Logan, who's in some sort of alcohol-induced coma upstairs. For the entirety of the night shift, all we ever did was make fun of David, the German videographer. Look at these words. June first, the gift spot bitte in Norden. What's going on? You guys arguing? Yeah, we're fighting. Starting to get some of that travel fatigue for a new relationship. No, bro, it's just like, bro, I was drunk last night. We had a deep conversation, and like, I forgot all of it. So what? That happens to the best of us. Oh, she, but here's why I'm mad. No, because if she just says one buzzword, I'll remember the entire thing. Like, it'll all come she back. She won't give you a I, hint. No, not, not one hint. hint. Not one hint, bro. Because he keeps asking me to say something nice, and I told him a bunch of really nice things, and he was like, oh, she, I'm gonna no, forget you know what this what Olivia's, I'm drunk. Olivia's nice thing is like this. You're cold. No, Logan, I actually said something really, really nice to you last night. Okay, so buzzword, please. It's stuck in my subconscious. You need to extract. Ready? You're not I, got going I got the buzzword. Giant cock. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Ooh. Right there. That word right here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, I'll do it. That's great. And now a word from our sponsors. Hey, slow down! Shut up, old man. This will slow him down a notch. All right, in reality, Roman swipes might not slow down those pesky kids in your neighborhood, but they will slow you down if you move a little bit too quickly in the bedroom. By now, you guys know the deal. You just take the swipe out of the package, swipe it on like I did with the car here, let it dry, and you're good to go. No more two-pump chumps. And the best part is you don't need a prescription for swipes, and Roman will ship them to your door in unmarked packages. So if you want to slow things down and become a little bit more effective in the bedroom, go to GetRoman.com forward slash Mike to get $10 off your first order of swipes and free two-day shipping. Let's get back to the night shift, baby. Yo, this noise right here oh, we know what was that in is. the song Best on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I got the best on Earth. We should take this on the Autobahn. The place is called Doofs. Is that right, David? Wait, what does oh. it mean? What does it mean? This is the place. Everybody recommended it. It's two patties. Uh, I got Wagyu. There's big pickles, raw onions on it, and the sauce. I can't even hold this because it's already oozing all over my oh legs. Oh my okay, all right, but at what point, though? Oh these are really, these That's are really fire. nice, dude. Also, side dishes galore here. Uh, we got onion rings. These things are absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Watch. Chili cheese nuggets. What the? Oh, Watch out. What do you what do you think of the burger, Olivia? It looks cool. <laughs> Fire. What do you think of me? Uh, you look cool. cool. You're cool. <laughs> yeah. So the cheddar, it's on. This one's on a sesame bun. Do you want to get into this? Why do I do that? Three, two, one, go. Oh, look at my fucking hand. <laughs> you just squirted out. <laughs> my burger squirted on me, bro. I asked you at what point we're at that point. Yeah. Can I hit? Oh. I've got a question for Olivia. Do you miss Todd, Eric? When I said we were having burgers, I didn't know there was going to be this much beef. <laughs> Take my fucking hand. <laughs> it got smoked, dude. Uh, bun could be a little bit softer. The meat is really good. Kind of is what I would expect to have here in, in Germany. It's very hearty. But just comparatively to some of the other places that we've been going to lately, it's just not quite on that level. I feel like you'd have to commit to come here. Like, you you know you're going to have to shower after. I'm going to say Dolph's uh, Hamburg, the home of the hamburger, by the way. I'm going to give it a 7.4. I first started hanging out with David, he showed me this video of this uh, German rapper like smashing bottles over his head and like doing fucking cocaine in the music video and all this crazy shit. One of the biggest German rappers, but he's also a fucking lunatic. Like he's like the real deal, like a fucking psychopath. You're gonna interrupt this man's haircut, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <Fuck> Jake Paul! <laughs> <laughs> 
Nice to meet you, bro. Welcome to Hamburg, bro. How are you? Hey, bro? Hey, it's Picard from America, bro. It's the classic city, guys. It's fantastic. I didn't expect Nice to meet you, guys. Hi, huh? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's up, baby? How are you? Yes, fine. Let's go. You want to smoke some weed or something? <laughs> He's fucking crazy, bro. What's the name of this place? Dude, titty twisters. You ever been a titty twister before? Yes! <laughs> I twist my titty! <laughs> this is the famous spot in Hamburg. It's a famous, famous bar. Everybody was here like Tyson, Muhammad Ali, like the Klitschko's. Everybody was boxing, was boxing here. Tupac don't was here. <laughs> now Logan Paul, yeah. Logan Paul, it's like, it's like, yeah, I'm quite the boxer myself. No wins, but... Uh... <laughs> means like... Schlitz, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, it means. It what does it mean? Like, it, it means pussy. No, it means like whatever. It's, it's the gap, the, like the, just the gap. Oh. Uh, like, to make it my mission to get Jesus so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is he drinking? Vodka. Vodka. Yeah, vodka. Just vodka? Yeah. Hey, what time is it? In five minutes after six. So since five minutes, it's okay. To okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> Logan back in his natural environment. But uh, the, the famous song, yeah, uh, Neon and my team, they say, Ab 13 Uhr ist schon okay. That, that means 13 o'clock. <laughs> That's one. Let's get it. And, uh, <laughs> we're there. Shut the fuck up. Yo, get the fuck oh, out of here. Bar, bro. No shot. Someone is doing a route with me right now. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> one round. I know with Logan. Right. No, bro, never. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a boxing ring under the fucking bar. So is that the deal? You get all fucked up upstairs, you get in a fight with someone, you come fuck it up that oh. Look who's finally awake, dude. She's warming up. Oh my god! Oh! You see that, Jocelyn? <laughs> The Große Freiheit, it's a really famous, famous street bake. On the weekend, usually, it's full of people. So it's just like party central, there's bars Everything, everywhere. Bars, clubs, strip clubs, it's a strip club. Oh, dollhouse. Uh, dollhouse, yeah. All right, so we just got to that part of the uh, red light district where only men can go in. I know it's crazy, 2021, men only. But we have Olivia with us. We got a, a girl with us. Or do we? <laughs> Enter for men only, 18 plus. Well, it looks like we got just a normal guy right here. What's your name, bro? Justin. All of it. All of it. All of it. Yo, Justin, good to meet you, man. You want to go see some hookers? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, do I look like a good, like a saint? Oh, no, no, no. You guys are getting more excited and you're getting louder, and there's nice people on this train, so shut the fuck up. Listen here, you handless fuck. <laughs> Don't you? I'm not ham. <laughs> Anyways, here's the deal. We couldn't get the Porsches. Whenever I say, anyways, here's the deal, I think I'm Greg Paul, because he says it. Here's the deal. And it's a big deal. <laughs> That's somebody else. <laughs> Listen, here's the, here's the deal. It's a big deal. Stop. Wait, who says that again? Armani. Armani is on So we're on a high speed train. 333 kilometers per hour. That's like the speed of light. That guy likes my joke. He likes my joke. David, turn the camera. I David, you're an idiot. <laughs> There's something about filming, stranger. There's something about there's something about filming that I don't understand. <laughs> You're the cameraman. You have to understand. I hate filming strangers. You Show don't me German. You don't need to make a big fuss, right, Olivia? Who says that? What else are we doing? Are we going to some like insane nightclub that goes for like six days straight? I'd like to. <laughs> Just, the last thing I'm gonna say is we're only in Berlin for one night, and then I still haven't told you guys where we're going next. But it's it's not it won't be long now before you find out. <laughs> <laughs> like subscribe, dude. This oh, is what the <laughs> I didn't see that guy at first, yo. That's like me and you, Dave. It's like the exact same size oh, difference. Yeah. yeah, we have bratwurst. Uh, we got some brats here outside of the Brandenburg Gate, which David just let me know was built in 1788, believe it or not. And what was it again? Uh, it's a gate you pass through. You're fucking German, you don't know shit. He said it's on the back of every coin. Evidently, it's very like important here in uh, Berlin. David keeps telling me there's a bunch of hot chicks here in Berlin. Oh, I haven't seen any of them yet. I think. Wow, Michael. Oh, fucking no, dude. Look oh, at those oh, nice yoga oh, pants. Oh. oh, hello, good boy. All right, guys, I'm finally gonna share with you where I, the surprise location I've been talking about for the past few days. That was gonna tell you, it's Iceland. We're in Iceland right now at what's called the Blue Lagoon. What's what's good, man? You going back to the cor corporate life or? I thought there was a dress code. Yeah, evidently, you're just swimming it. This is the first stop on our Iceland journey. I know it's like a, a bucket list item for a lot of people. I'm excited about it. I definitely need a bath. She definitely needs a bath. That's what she's been doing for the past couple weeks. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I've done nothing wrong. No one said it was wrong, but good God. If you call that wrong, I don't want to be right, girl. 
Show them the private entry. Come this way to the private entry. So look at there is our private entry. Oh, you go through that little door? Yeah, it's like a doggy door for humans. <laughs> Are you sure, by the way, we don't have to go through like a wall pool? Look at me. I'm basically Icelandic. Wait, what actually oh, happened? Mm -hmm. uh, you can break you all around. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we'll see, bro. This is crazy. It's so beautiful and quiet. I wonder we could get down. <laughs> Just what they want to see. Us two assholes. Bro, I, every time I walk into a place with like adults, I, I get nervous and self conscious because I'm a, you know, yeah. fucking idiot and shit. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you can't film it. Hey man, I loved you in Waterboy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jokes. Wait, what is <laughs> he loved me in Waterboy, the classic Adam Sandler movie. Are you from uh, Iceland? You from Reykjavik? Uh, no, I'm not from Reykjavik. I'm from the north, actually. How do you like living here? Nah, I love it. Do you watch the, the night shift? Oh yeah, and Pocho as well. <laughs> Yo, do you know where the penis museum is? Uh, Yeah, I think it's more that way. Uh, Bro, this town is awesome. You've been here, what, like 12 hours? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> He's like, of course it's fun for 12 hours. Try being here for 20 years. <laughs> okay, so we just got to the Icelandic Phallological Museum, Phallological Museum, which is it's the Dick Museum. It's the only one of its kind in the entire world. It's a museum dedicated to dicks, which is obviously a topic that we love to talk about on Impulsive and on the night shift. Walk into the penis museum. <laughs> Makes sense. Who's here? Her and this dickhead. What are you guys looking at? <laughs> what do you think, my cock? <laughs> Wait, is there any standout dicks in here or no? Yeah, like, yeah. Look. Speaking of standout dicks, look at this one. I present to you the world's biggest it. penis. BBC, more like BWC, dude. Holy crap, it's a big whale cock. <laughs> Wait, how does it end up looking like the corner of a badgered football? At the top. <laughs> you know, you know the, the ridge, the ridge <laughs> on the football and it hits the street too yeah. many times. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I want to be the guy that, nah, I don't want to be this guy, but someone had to like carry this like somewhere else. <laughs> hey, got the, got the whale cock you guys been looking for. Normally I tell you to like kind of be quiet and be mature, yeah. but I feel like this is an exception this here. Is the, this is the one place it makes sense. Like imagine someone's like this. Shh, look at that dick. <laughs> so we went from looking at dicks to eating them. Uh, this is Viking here, he's our host. <laughs> Evidently here in uh, Reykjavik, this is like the, main place like the big deal place right yeah what's definitely. it called it's called Bayern's best it means best of a town so it's uh ketchup relish mustard uh fried onion you glizzy goblin wouldn't be the first time i glizzled a gobbler on camera <laughs> like this like this mike you okay if i do this for your video <laughs> Get a you okay if i do this for your I've video i've seen the same angle on <laughs> i saw this on twitter <laughs> We're currently exploring the south coast of Iceland. There's just too much to show you guys because we're gonna go to like 50 different spots, but I just wanna give you guys a quick idea of what it looks like here. Massive mountains, green grass, tons of horses, glacier water that you can drink, and giant waterfalls. Now this one's called Skogafoss. I don't know how else to put it. It's the most dramatic, non-Earth-like landscape I've ever seen in my life, and it's absolutely stunningly beautiful. So if you ever get a chance to visit Iceland, you have to do it. You guys thought I was too old. Look at me now. I made it off all the stairs. I'm even in first place. You know, Justin Bieber was once here. Show him. Show him the view, David. Gets me so fucking wet. Huh. And we're off to the next spot, guys. An airplane, an airplane, an actual flying airplane from the 1970s crash landed onto the black sand beach that we were just at. Uh, it's about a 45 minute walk from the main road or a five minute drive if you got it like that. Tell me this looks like anything you've ever seen on the planet Earth before. This country just doesn't fail to just surprise me, dude. Look at that, man. Lord, man. What? Hope everybody's all right. All right, guys, we are back in Los Angeles after weeks and weeks of grueling travel from London to Hamburg to Berlin to Iceland and everywhere in between. I'm fucking exhausted. Right now, I'm editing the video that you're watching. It's coming out tomorrow as I make this section. All I want to do is go to sleep. Uh, I want to lay down. I want to relax for a couple days. Unfortunately, that's not going to be what happens. We're leaving to go to Vegas tomorrow for a NASCAR race, uh, a UFC fight, a Raiders game, and a bunch more content for 
the Night Shift channel. Plus, we even have the next video after that set up, which is going to take place in Connecticut, maybe a little bit more in New York. I just can't stop making fucking content. I know that's what you guys want to hear, and that's what I want to give you guys. The only person that's really mad about that is David, who really, really needs a fucking break, and he deserves a break. Unfortunately, he's just not going to get one. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I, I guess I got nothing else to say at the end of this fucking marathon episode. I think this one will probably be, end up being about 16 to 20 minutes. I don't know where it netted out. But yeah, that's it for this episode of The Night Shift. Thank you guys so fucking much for working late with us. We are officially clocking out. Peace. I, just, I don't want any trouble. Oh, they don't want any either. I was just saying hi, that's all. Lima da. Fuck. <laughs> Take fuck. two, motherfucker. Now you know how it feels. Uh, it's so hard to speak German. <laughs> Liebe Damen und Herren, willkommen zurück zu der Nachtschicht. Ihr arbeitet spät, so. Fuck. <laughs> Take three, bitch.